welcome citizens to our new video today we are in our hangar and we are going to check one of the most beautiful ships in the game and not only beautiful it is also very useful this is the best all-around ship for any player also for the starters if they want to afford it the spirit c1 and also i have this beautiful olympia paint on it we are going to test this little bit ship we are going to do bounty mission to see how powerful and good this ship really is so as you can see it this paint really suits this ship i think it's one of the best intrepid and olympia are my favorite paints for this ship and also that red one i forgot the name yeah they they are amazing first of all this ship has so much cargo space look at this you can run marathon here also there's a good lighting here so you can do a nice close-up view of your suit which i really like if we go through these two doors that are in front of us on the left side there is a place for your suits which will be functional in the future here we have a gun rack and on the right side if we open here we have a toilet and next to it is a kitchen which is kind of strange but it works real nice left side there is a bed right side is a bed one tip if you have a party member or team player and you want to give him an item and you are afraid that it doesn't fall down you will open this here this is external and you will drag it inside then you will close it and then your friend can open and take the item that you want to give it to him real nice I have some garbage here not nice of me I leave it in the kitchen perfect all right let's hop in the seat and take a look at the ship from the outside so before we go outside we are going to take a look at the cockpit the cockpit doesn't have too much displays only two but because the new rework is coming of the displays you will have more than enough information here the cockpit is open beautiful nice we have everything that you want to see in front of you and then the bad side of this ship hopefully that will change in the future you always get this small hangar so the best way to fly out of this small hangar is just fly like this then straight forward and go out and when landing do not go and land inside like this vertically instead go a little bit on the side and nose down like this let me show you so this is the proper way to land this ship like this and then just land down but we are going to out so reverse it nice so why is this ship the best all-around ship for everyone well first of all it has everything that you need you have a tractor beam huge cargo space and veto capabilities beautiful design i mean real beautiful if you press k you can close your veto so I'm rocking now deadbolts on this ship. Why deadbolts? Well, because deadbolts right now and all the ballistics are going straight through the shield. And we are taking advantage of that. We are taking down everything in our path. This ship is fast, nimble. Look at this. Beautiful. And this paint suits it perfectly. If you are a player, that is starting the star citizen or you have played a little bit i think this best this ship is the best all-around ship for the middle player and especially right now when the engineering is coming into a gameplay it will be much more easier to manage this ship as a single player who is i don't know starting or learning about the game than having a huge multi-crew ship it will be very hard now for the players to use it so in the future i think this ship will get even more improvements i really like the design engines everything on this ship so let's see how powerful this little ship is 
we can also do an ERT mission with this ship, but it's a little bit risky, I have to admit it, so we will take something like VHRT. You can kill the main ship with this deadbolt setup, but probably not all the rest of the ship, so let's see. What is the setup of this ship? Well, right now we are rocking one FR-76 shield, size 2. I think this is a little bit downside, this huge ship should have at least two shields, but yeah, at least when the ship is looking like this, it is not easy to hit it. If the player or enemy is above you, then you are a very big target. One thing that I like about this shield, it's not a bubble shield, so you can put more shield at the front, which gives it a little bit more usability. So, the quantum drive is XL1, and that's the main advantage of this ship. It is very very fast and you have a lot of quantum fuel. Look at this, 3750, which is amazing. You can glide across all the Stanton, no problems whatsoever. Fast, reliable, I use this ship all the time when I travel across the Stanton. One good thing about this ship is reclaiming time. It is around one and a half minute right now. Yeah, that will change in the future, but right now, amazing. So what do they want to us from us? To fly there 400 kilometers? No, we will drop this, we will take HRT mission. While we are flying there, we are going to take a look at this beautiful Olympia paint job. It suits it perfectly. Real, real nice. Love the ship in this paint. The beauty of this ship is it's not too costly to operate it. It's beautiful, elegant, sleek, nice. Yeah, all that you want from Star Citizen. Also, there is one more plus that I really like. This ship reminds me so much of the Normandy from Mass Effect and if you didn't know I love the Mass Effect, especially the music and design of it. Fire. Sorry Valkyrie. What's happening? Nice. Scorpius. Something's wrong with my aiming. Okay, it was gimbal on. Hated gimbal. This Scorpius is trying to escape. But it's dead right now. Okay, I don't like that. Don't shoot at me. The missiles. Whoa. What's that over there? Okay, I have some missiles too. Look at this. Let's see how much damage we can do with this Dark Swarm. They're going away, alright. Nice. We have damaged him a little bit. We are slicing this warden. Nice! Really easy to kill heavy fighters with this ship. We like the big explosions, that's for sure. Undamaged, fast, nimble, beautiful. If you want powerful ship all the way until VHRT missions and also you can do everything with this ship. Yes, Corsair, okay. Try. 
Let's try to take down the Corsair with this little bit of ammo that we have. Fire! Please don't curse. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm low. But we still have to try to fight it. Don't surprise me with missiles. Nice! Whoa! We managed to kill VHRT mission with this little bit ammo that we got. Let's escape. We don't need no contacts right now. We need escaping. So guys, if you want a powerful little ship, beautiful design, go with the C1. You will not regret it. If you do not owe this ship, try asking in the verse for someone to land it for you, to test it a little bit, to fly it, and soon it will be inside the game. You will be able to buy it in-game, so that is amazing. Also, if you cannot have this ship right now, the best ship that can replace this ship is Cutlass Black. That is my go-to second ship for best all-around ship because Catalyst Black is even more powerful because it has more missiles and a turret for a gunner which is kind of really nice that was it guys thank you for watching this video do you agree with me is this a best all-around ship for everyone including the Catalyst and if not which ship would you recommend for medium and starting players thank you for watching Please subscribe, like and share. Until next video, have fun out there.